Hi guys, in this video, I will demonstrate you VLAN tagging and trunking. VLAN tagging is used to segregate systems of systems in a same network in such a manner that they are not able to communicate with each other. Suppose there are two two types of users in a university. First one is student, second one is faculty. So because of security reasons, faculty VLAN systems can't be accessed from student VLAN systems or vice versa. So to segregate such type of networks, we use VLAN tagging. So in this scenario, suppose laptops belongs to faculty VLAN or faculty faculty and PCs belongs to labs or student systems. So I have to configure my network in such a manner that these PCs are not able to access laptop or these laptops are not accessed through accessed by these PCs. So both of these devices are not able to communicate with each other. So to configure this thing, I have to tag or I have to create some VLANs over here. So for uh, uh, sample purpose, I have cre already created two VLANs over here, but now I removed them. So by default, there are there is one VLAN that is VLAN 1. So I have to add some new VLAN over here. So, <clears throat> so let me add one VLAN over here. So every VLAN has a unique number or unique ID. So I have added two as a faculty VLAN and three as a student VLAN. So this is used to identify which system which belongs to or which which uh, connection is belongs to faculty VLAN systems or student VLAN system. So similarly, I have to configure same thing in switch two also because network is distributed on multiple switches and uh, uh, same VLAN systems are distributed on these two switches. So I have to configure these VLANs over here also. So first of all, I already have some uh, same name VLANs over here. So I have to add two VLAN ID two for faculty and three for student. So I have added. Uh, VLAN ID 2 and 3 over here. Uh, 2 is for faculty and 3 for student. I And I have added this thing on both switches. So now I have to configure ports over here so that the student VLAN systems are not able to access faculty VLAN systems. So as I have, to I have told you that these laptops belongs to faculty VLAN and these PCs belongs to student VLAN. So I have to configure each and every access point over here. So what is access point? Access point is the point from which we are able to connect and devices. So this wire is connected to one access point or interface over here that is access point for this. So we have to change this one. So first of all, we have to identify which port is used over here. So this is FA01, 0 slash 1 for this PC and FA2 slash 1 for this PC. So 172.17.1 and 6 belongs to student VLAN. So I have to configure this thing at this port. So I, when I click on 0 slash 1, I have to select student VLAN. So I have selected this thing and configure this thing over here. So there are two options over here. One is access and trunk. So by default, we got access over here. So access represent access point from which we are able to connect and devices. And similarly, I have to configure this point also. So this is also belongs to student VLAN. Fast Ethernet port 2 slash 1. And remaining two ports belongs to faculty VLAN. So I have to check which port are these. This is fast Ethernet port 1 slash 1 and 3 slash 1. So I have to configure these three these two ports on student VLAN. Sorry, faculty VLAN. So I have configured this thing on this port on faculty VLAN and this one also on faculty VLAN. 
So similarly, I have to configure this second switch ports also. So I have used again FS0 slash 1 and 2 slash 1 for student VLAN or for these PCs. So 172.17.0.7 and 0 0.4 belongs to student VLAN. And these are connected to fast Ethernet port 0 slash 1 and 2 slash 1. So I have to select this one and I have to select this one. Similarly, I have to again configure these two laptops on faculty VLAN. So I have to select this one. So when I move my cursor over here, it shows FA 1 slash 1 and this one is FA 3 slash 1. This is fast Ethernet one, one oblique one. So this is on faculty VLAN and 3 slash 1 is also on faculty VLAN. So I have configured both of these ports on faculty VLAN. So I have to verify whether I am able to communicate same network devices or not. So suppose 172.17.0.1 belongs to student VLAN and this is also belongs to student VLAN. So whether I am able to communicate between these devices or not. So I got a successful message over here. So these devices are able to communicate over here. Similarly, both laptops are able to communicate with each, each other. I got a successful message over here also. When I try for PC2 laptop, so this must be failed. So this is failed over here. So it indi indicates that when we configure systems on different VLANs, we are not able to communicate them. we are not able to communicate between them. So in this manner, I have virtually basically, basically virtually divide my switch in multiple VLANs. And those devices belongs to same network because I have configured every system over here on 172.17 series. That is class B IP address. So when I move my cursor over here, you can view this is 172.17.0.1. And I can confirm this thing from here also. That is 172.17.0.1. So, in this manner, I have configured devices over here. But are we able to communicate between these switches or not? So, suppose PC 172.17.0.1 want to communicate with 172.17.0.7, it got failed. So, so our question comes in our mind because because these both of these PCs belongs to same network or same VLAN, but still not able to communicate between uh, communicate between them. So I have to config. I have to make sure that these should these systems should be able to communicate with each other. For that thing, I have to configure this connection also, because by default this connection belongs to a single network. So when I when I have to confirm this thing over here, so this this is connected to gigabyte port six slash one on both switches so i have to configure this thing over here so when i click on gigabyte port it is still on access and only vlan one data can be traveled over here so i have to change this thing because we are using two other vlans over here so uh, when i click on faculty we are able to now able must be able to communicate only uh, faculty related data over here so when i configure this thing same thing on this one other switch also. So I have configured these ports on faculty VLAN. So we are able to communicate between faculty devices only. So this laptop is able to communicate with this laptop over here. And, and I got a successful message over here. But still, student VLAN systems are not able to communicate with each other. This is the so this is uh, I got a fair message across the switches because. For this link, we have configured this link in such a manner that only faculty VLAN data is able to travel on that, that one. So I have to configure this link in such a manner that both VLAN data should be able to transfer or travel on this one, same connection. Otherwise, I have to create one more connection for other network. So why should I connect the uh, connect? Uh, why should I use other connection? I can use this connection also. So I have to change this access mode to trunk mode. Trunk means we are able to use multiple VLAN data. We, uh, we, we are able to uh, communicate, uh, we are able to transmit multiple VLAN, VLAN data on 
same network. So by default, if we got a click on all available VLANs. So we can configure this one as uh, this one also and remove some VLANs also, but I don't want to uh, delete or restrict any VLAN over here. So we are able to communicate all VLAN data on this point. So I have converted this thing to trunk over here. Similarly, I have to configure this one also. So again, I have again trunk this one. This got trunk automatically and got selected all VLANs over here. Okay. So now my work is complete. Now I am able to communicate between these other different switch devices also. So let's see on uh, faculty VLAN systems. So now I got a successful message from uh, 172.17.0.5 to 172.17.0.3. So 3 belongs to second switch and 5 belongs to first switch. Similarly, I can confirm this for PCs also or student VLAN systems also. So I got a successful message for 1 and 7 also. This one is 1 and this one is 7. So are we able to communicate between different net, different network devices or not? So it must be failed. So this is failed because these laptops and system PCs belongs to different VLAN. So this is on a student VLAN. This is on faculty VLAN. So both of these devices are different VLAN. So I am not able to communicate between them. So in this manner, you are able to separate systems or separate uh, and devices by using VLAN tagging and able to communicate multiple VLAN data on a single connection or a same single link. So hope, I hope you enjoy my session. Thank you very much.